Jackie Tash. I'm here at Yama Yoga with one other person <laughs> to film some classes and to get you your practice. Um, so I know it's a really tough time, but we are going to make ourselves feel a little bit better by grounding into our bodies today. So sit up nice and tall. Close your eyes. Begin to breathe in and out. Thank you so much to Yama and to Julia and Marietta for helping put this all together to get stuff online. If y'all want to donate, there is an option. Go to the Yama website and find out. And feel free also to join my newsletter to get these posts about these classes and more. I'm doing some kid yoga through my, at my house hectic and hilarious, so. Notice how you are breathing this morning. Breathing low and deep, slow and deep. Is your breath a little bit shallow? Just notice and put some kind of descriptor on it for yourself as a sort of a bookmark so you can compare it to your after class or other times when you're feeling <coughs> stressed or other times when you're feeling good useful to notice all points along your spectrum of how your breath moves. Notice how your breath feels inside your nostrils. Notice how that breath feels inside your throat. <clears throat> Notice how that breath is feeling inside your chest and lungs. Feel literally just the physical sensation of breathing. Observe. And then notice how you're feeling in your deep, low belly and hips. And I want to say this morning that if you're feeling unsettled and you're feeling upset, that is normal. Stuff is crazy right now. Everything's shut down but everyone has more energy, more nervous energy than they know what to do with. Hopefully we'll be able to get you back to feeling a little bit more regulated and safe with this yoga class. But for now, just feel into that nervousness. Where does it land in your body, in your physical self? Maybe it's in your chest, maybe it's in your belly, maybe it's in your thought swirl in your head. Feel into it, say hello to it, get to know it.
And then whatever part that is that you're feeling that nervousness in, send some love to that part. Send some sympathy to that part. Maybe if it's in your belly, hold your belly, rub your belly, say, it's okay. You feel this way because you're trying to protect me and keep me safe. In these times more than ever, I think it's really important that we care and love our, care for and love ourselves. Have a few more breaths, just feeling into that. It might be a new thing for some people to be sending love to themselves. We don't do it a lot in our culture. We're, we're way better at pointing out what's wrong and going after self-help books and stuff, but a lot of them, I don't know if a lot of them teach loving your own self. Maybe they do. But if you've not done it before, it might be a strange feeling and it might be difficult. It's a practice, it takes practice. So don't worry if you're bad at it, just start now. in your heart, bring your hands up to your heart and just kind of hold yourself. Deep breaths now, deepening the breath into a slow ujjayi breath. Instead of fighting against these feelings, soften into them. See what it's like just to give up the fight for a few minutes. Fear and anxiety take us out of our bodies and up into this freaky, swirly space. We're using yoga today and always to bring ourselves back into our bodies. So just use your hands and touch your shoulders, touch your arms, give yourself a hug. Touch your belly and your back, touch your legs, touch your feet. We're here. In this moment, we actually, personally, probably are safe. It's hard to believe in that right now, but try just for this hour. You have the home to do a yoga class and the technology to do a yoga class. You're probably in pretty good shape right now. Feel into it. See if you can convince yourself, even a little. Close your eyes and breathe in and out, nice and slow. All right. Bring your hands to heart center once again. And join me for three ohms. Take a breath in. Ah. Release your hands back to your knees. Blink your eyes a few times before opening them fully. And come over onto all fours. We'll start like we always do to create a feeling of regularity. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hip sockets. Inhale, drop your belly down, look forward. Exhale, press the floor away, lift your spine. 
Inhale again, dropping down. Exhale again, lifting up. And then continuing with a few more cats and cows on your own. And moving in any other way that feels right to you this morning. Maybe you wave your hips around. Maybe you do a uh, side to side lateral movement instead of cat and cow. Don't think too hard about it. Just let your body tell you what it needs and do it spontaneously. Go. Come on back to neutral. Bring your knees a little bit wider than your hips. Touch your toes behind you and sit back. Child's pose. Reach your hands forward. Bring your forehead to the ground if it reaches. If it doesn't, you can place a book or a rolled up ball of socks or a yoga block under your forehead. Feel that center of the forehead grounding into the floor. Sometimes I even like to turn my head left and right a little bit here. It's very soothing to me. And then walk your hands over to the left. Getting that big stretch in the right ribs. As you breathe, feel that breath filling the right ribs. So big, so wide, so expansive. Feel those muscles relax as you let the air back out. And then try to sort of round the back a little bit by tucking the right sits bone towards the right heel with just a little bit of power. Not a lot, not your hardest. Just tuck a little. Good, release from there, come back through center and over to the right. Again, appreciate this feeling of the breath expanding the left ribs. A big, glorious, abundant breath in and out. And then again, tucking a little bit. So kind of pull your belly in a little, tuck your sits bone, left sits bone towards your heel. Get that little extra drop out of this pose. Great, lift on up, come back to center. Come up to all fours again. Walk your knees back under your hips. And inhale, lift your right arm out and up. Press the floor away. Shift your hips back to center if they went right. And on your exhale, come on down, under and through, shoulder to the floor, side of the head to the floor. And again, if you don't reach the floor, that's okay. Don't hurt yourself to get to the floor. Use a block, fold in a blanket, couch cushion, whatever's available. Support yourself, love yourself.
Press into the floor with a little extra oomph with that right shoulder. Reach a little bit longer with those right fingertips. Pressing with the left hand to twist more if you want more and need more. If you're happy where you are, celebrate that. Go with it. Don't should yourself for anything today. Release and come on up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower your hand down. Shift left and right with the hips. And lift your left arm out and up. Press the floor away. Open your heart towards that side wall. Shift your hips back to center if they've come left a little bit. And on an exhale, come on down, under and through. Shoulder down, head down. Holding that pose always seems like, wow, this is way hard. Why is it so hard? <laughs> it seems simple, but it really gets the, gets the upper, upper middle back and shoulders warmed up nicely. And now pressing that left shoulder a little bit more into the floor, extending those left fingers a little bit more, maybe pressing into the right hand more. But all, as always, stop where you feel good. Don't worry if I'm taking it further. You don't have to. We're here to learn how to feel good, to know ourselves. So don't push hard unless that's feeling good to you. Release, come on out, inhale, lift up, exhale, back down. Tuck your toes and lift your hips, downward facing dog. Oh, first down dog of class. Feel into it. Notice where it feels good. Pedal your feet. Shake your head, yes, and then no. Bend your knees deeply. Let your hips sink down a little bit. Really press the floor away with those hands. Stick your butt out. Really lift your sits bones and then see about straightening your legs some, but don't let the hips tilt. Great, and then kind of release that effort. Set your hips down, let your back round, and lift your mid-back and upper back if you're doing cat pose. And then come back to dog pose. Bend your knees to look forward and step on up to the top. Half lift, long spine. Exhale, fold, release down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift again. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift once again. Stay here for a breath or two, and really focus on reaching your crown so long towards the wall and your sits bones back towards the other wall. Notice if you're grounded evenly through your feet and sort of find a little more evenness if possible. Drop your heart down between your shoulders a little. Shoulders back and down. Bring your hands to your hips and lift on up. Welcome upright again. All right, palms forward. Find Tadasana at the front of your mat. And inhale, lift on up. Exhale, fold, come on down. Half lift, get long from head to tail. Plant your hands and step back to plank. Set your knees down if that's better for your back. Inhale. Lower to the floor anyway. 
that is safe for your body. Roll your shoulders back, hug your elbows and lift up, cobra. And come on down. With your nose an inch off the floor, shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. And then begin to lift your head and shoulders as you roll the shoulders back and down. Lift up in the front, shoulders back and down. And come on down. One more cobra like that. Nose just off the floor, shoulders up towards your ears. Hold and squeeze. Pull back on your hands. Be sure to focus on pressing down the base of your pointer finger and thumb. And then lift your head, shoulders back and down. Lift your head and shoulders, shoulders back and down. And release. Press up and back, downward facing dog. Shake your head yes. Shake it and go. Blubber through your lips. Let it all go. Bend your knees to look forward. Step to the front. Half lift, long spine. Exhale, fold. Sweep your arms wide. Lift up, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift again, look up, palm stretch. Exhale, fold. Half lift, curl long and tall in your spine. Plant your hands, step back, plank. Inhale, lower to the floor. Lift up, cobra, any size cobra, or up dog, if that's your jam, go for it. And come on down. Bring your hands out to the sides, off your mat, and then forward, one handprint. Come up on your fingertips and peel yourself up. Like a giant bug, elbows up, collarbones wide. Great, come on back down. Bring your, wrist, bring your hands back in by your ribs. Lift on up into a low cobra. And then pull your right lung and right elbow back. Twist right. Tack that right hip back down. Come back to center. Left shoulder, left ribs back. Tack your left hip down. Come on back to center and release to the floor. Lift up and back, downward facing dog. Catch up with your breath. Notice how your breathing is now. Bend your knees to look forward. Step or hop, come on up. Half lift and fold. Sweep your arms wide, lift out and back up, reach up. Exhale, hands to hurts. Reach wide again, lift on up. Exhale, fold, come on down. Half lift, long in the spine, reach your head, long in your tail, long. Plant your hands, step back, plank. Inhale. Exhale, come on down. Shoulders back, lift your heart, a back bend, your back bend. And lower down. Reach your fingertips back behind you, lift your head, heart, and arms. Float your feet if you're feeling like adding on. And lower on down. Drop to one side of your face. Rock your hips left and right. And then lift your head again. Lift your shoulders up and back. Lift your arms. Lift your whole torso a little higher. 
Add your legs if you'd like to. Clasp your hands if you'd like to. Roll shoulders back and lift up a little more. And release, come on down. Wiggle your hips left and right. One more of those. Lift your head, shoulders, arms. And clasp your hands or just flip your palms over. Release down. Have a moment of rest. Bring your hands in by your ribs, press up, downward facing dog. Breathing is long, slow, and deep. Bend your knees to the floor, step or hop, come on up. Half lift. And fold. Sweep arms wide. Come on up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Clasp your hands behind you. Rock your shoulders back. Inhale, pressing into the floor and getting real tall. Crack your tailbone a little bit. Activate your knees so that they're not locked. Maybe you stretch your hands down more, maybe not. Maybe you lift your hands away from your back, maybe not. If you feel so inclined, fold forward. Begin to look forward, drop your hands down to your low back, lift on and back up to stand. Release your arms, shake it out a little bit. Roll your wrists around a few times. With your right hand, bring your palm forward and pull your fingertips back. And then release and switch. Release from there. Reach your arms wide. Tuck your thumbs down. Wrap your fingers around your thumbs. Inhale. And on an exhale, just kind of point your knuckles downward. Feel that. Nice stretch it along the tops of their forearms. And sort of now bring those knuckles forward. Tuck your shoulders in. And then roll your knuckles down and back and maybe up, depending on how your arms are built. And then down and forward again. Release the hands, flex your palms back and release. Shake it out a little bit, roll your shoulders. All right, Tadasana once again. Inhale, lift your arms up, clasp your hands, and really round into the floor, knees active, lift behind your heart, standing back bend. Come on back up, and bring your arms down. Inhale, lift again. And exhale, fold. Heart forward, long in the spine. Plant your hands and send your right leg back. You're always welcome to drop your knee down if that's better for your body. Settle in, see if you can find a flat back. This is a great place for blocks under the hands. 
or soup cans or cups or whatever you've got to lift you up a little bit. And then on your next exhale, straighten the front leg some. Press down at the base of the big toe. Keep that and pull that left hip back. That is one of my favorite feelings ever. I hope you are enjoying it. Love into what you're feeling. Bend your front knee, step forward with the back foot, half lift, plant hands, send your left leg back, and lunge. And again, knee can come to the floor, you can pad it with a blanket or a cushion. Breathe long, slow, and deep. On your exhale, straighten that front leg any amount. Grounding firmly at the base of the big toe, pulling the right hip back some. Get that nice spiraling feeling as you pull the leg in two directions, wrapping around. And bend back into that front knee, clench your hands, and step back to plank. Inhale. Exhale, come on down. Heart forward, cobra lift up. Pull your shoulders back and down. And release down. Bring your left hand across the front of your mat, parallel to the front of your mat. Left arm, rather, not just hand. And then reach back with your right hand and grab your foot. You can turn the shoulders back forward if you'd like. Pull that heel in towards your butt. Get a nice stretch in that right thigh and quad. Breathe and notice what you feel. What kind of sensation is it? Does it feel good? Do you love it? Or is there some discomfort to study? If you'd like a little bit more, you can back your elbow up an inch or two closer to your chest and lift up a little higher in the front. If you'd like more still, you can turn this left arm forward and press into the floor, straightening that arm. If you'd like to experiment further, let your right leg unbend a little to the length of your right arm, and maybe lift your knee off the floor. All right, drop that elbow back down, release your right leg, and bring your hand to your stacked arms. Wiggle your hips left and right. And now keeping this right arm across the mat, reach back with your left hand and grab your left foot. Breathe into this nice stretch. Making it easy at first. Don't dial it up yet. Feel into that sensation. If you'd like a little bit more, 
and back this right elbow up an inch or two, and lift up more in the front. So press into the floor with that forearm so that that shoulder's not crunched up by the ears. Extend that shoulder outward. Turn the right hand forward if you'd like more. Press up. Lift the elbow. And that's totally optional. If it doesn't feel good, set your elbow back down. If you'd like to experiment still further, extend your left arm straight, pressing your left ankle into your hand and lift that left side. It might not come up far, but give it a shot. Good. And release. Restack your arms in front of you. Rest your head for just a moment. Shift your hips around. And bring your hands in next to your ribs. Press up and back. Have a gentle child's pose. Move into it slowly. And then come on back up to all fours. Your knees and under your hips and gently shift around left and right. Press into the floor, get a little bit of a cat pose. All right. So if you have a block or a mug or a brick or a soup can, grab that. Step your right foot forward. Okay. And then bring the block over to the right side, so kind of outside of your right ankle. Come on up to a, like you're standing on your left knee. And lift your left arm up. Sink forward into this lunge as far as feels good to you and support yourself with your right forearm on your thigh. And for a little bit more, lean over to the right. Breathe long, slow, and deep. Hear your breath moving in and moving out like it does all day. Start to pull yourself out, so maybe drop your arm down first, come out of the side bend, press into that front foot, come out of the hip stretch. Oh, and you could have reached for the block uh, on that side bend. We'll do it on the next side. Switch legs, so bring that right knee in, left knee forward, left foot forward, right in, block outside the left foot. Stand up on that right knee, and on your exhale, sink forward. Find your beautiful stretch here. Where does it feel good? Don't push further. Lift your right arm up. Support yourself, left forearm across knee. And come on over to the left. And as an option, grab that block. Start to pull yourself out, release your arm, come back to vertical with the torso, press into that front foot, come on up. Come on back to all fours. Check out things. How are you feeling? Do a little cat pose. And then we're going to make our way to the floor. So come to a seat. Well, however that works for you is fine. And lay on back. Have your block nearby if you can. 
Hug your knees in, rock left and right. Drop your feet to the floor, hips distance apart, but so that your fingertips can graze your heels just a little bit. Press the shoulders down into the floor. You can kind of, I like to lift up and tuck my shoulder blades in a little bit even here. Press the shoulders down, press the hands down. Press into your feet, but reach your knees forward and lift your hips. Bridge pose. Clasp your hands if you'd like. Walk your shoulders under. Alternately, a great option is to grab the outside edge of your mat and sort of roll your knuckles under your mat, pull outward. So great for opening shoulders and hearts. If you've been feeling that tension and fear gathering and making your chest tight, test chest tight, here is such a good stretch for you. And come on down, nice and slow. Let the arms part. Lift the shoulders out. Back flat. Bridge again. Arms down at your sides. Press down. Lift your hips. Reach the knees forward. Breathe long, slow, and deep. Modify your bridge in whatever way works best for you. Clasp your hands or don't. And lower down nice and slow. Once more, bridge pose. Planting arms firmly, shoulders press down and back. Lift the hips. Hands and walk the shoulders in if you'd like. Grab the edges of the mat. There's a variation that you know. And come on down. If you have your arms clasped, to your hands clasped, try keeping them there and lower down, lower your body down onto your arms. Let gravity and pressure sort of expand your front side a little. And then release those arms out and come flat on the floor. <sighs> Hug your knees in, rock left and right. And now roll forward and back. Get some motion. And see about coming up to a squat. Find your squat, whether you get there by rocking or not. Bring your feet a little bit wider. Bring your hands inside your legs and press out. Release from there and put your hands down. Come to all fours, hands and knees. Now is a good time to um, pad your knees, so grab a blanket. If you have blocks, now is also a great time for blocks. Place the blocks outside your heels. Come on up to kneeling. Press down into the floor. Press those knees down. And actually, it can be really helpful um, to have a block or something in between your knees. So maybe a really thick book or another blanket or cushion. Tucking your toes behind you. Reach down, like from your ribs, feel like you're reaching from your ribs down to the floor. Think in your mind about that spot behind your heart. Press into the floor with your knees and lift behind your heart.
Bring your hands to your low back. Help yourself kind of tuck your butt down a little bit. Lift behind your heart again. Inhale. And exhale. If you're feeling feisty and you want to reach for your heels, go right ahead. Press your hips forward. The head here can be in any spot. It doesn't have to drop back. If it's hard on your neck to drop your head back, keep your head up. Still getting a back bend. Come on back up carefully. Good work. Untuck your toes. Bring your hands down carefully. Let your spine just be flat for a moment. Pause. Take a big breath in and out. Notice that your heart is beating a little harder, probably. Notice how your breathing feels. Different than before, probably. And then take a very gentle cat pose. Lift your spine. Drop your head, press the floor away. All right, come back to neutral, please, and tuck your toes. Sit back on your heels. Bring your hands to your heels or your blocks. Kind of roll your shoulders back and down, but then notice what that does to your chest and your belly. Bring your belly back in a little. Press into the floor with knees. Just like you were doing when we stood on our knees, kind of engage those muscles downward into the floor. And see about lifting into camel from here. So kind of press your hips forward and lift up. Creating these long, slow knees. Slowly come back down the way you came in. Lowering your butt down. Good work. Bring your hands forward to give your feet a break. Release your toes. Let your back just be neutral for a moment to kind of let it reacclimate from that back bend. Mm -hmm. And then lift your spine just a little, gentle gap. And release. Good. Wiggle your hips left and right. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Move that blanket out of the way if you grab one to pad your knees. And lift your right leg up and back. Step it through to the front. Plant your back heel on an angle and sweep on up, warrior one. Sink down a little bit. And then bring your elbows down by your sides, by your elbows almost really down by your waist. Kind of keep your hands alive, jazz hands. I stole that from Sean Helene. Thank you, Sean. I love it. Drop your shoulders down. And then start to swing your elbows forward as you lift that same spot behind your heart where we did the camel. So lift behind your heart. Inhale, look up a little bit. Tuck your tailbone to protect your low back. With each breath, lift that heart just a hair more. Lift your torso back, vertical. Inhale, lift your arms. And exhale, hands back down. Lift that back heel. Step back, downward facing dog. Breathe. Lift your left leg up, inhale. Exhale, step it through. Drop your back heel. Look forward a little, press into the floor firmly with both feet, engage your midsection, lift on up, and sink. 
Really anchor that back foot down, pressing at the outer blade of the back foot. Find that spot with your mind's eye, find that spot behind your heart. And then inhale, lift behind the heart. Oh, I forgot you again. Bring your elbows down. <laughs> Wiggle your hands and lift behind your heart again. Elbows forward, heart lifting. Good. Return to vertical. Oh, <laughs> feels good, but whew, what a relief, huh? Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands down. Step back, down or facing down. Lift up high on your toes. Round your back like cat pose, rolling forward so that your shoulders are over your wrists. You're doing this like crazy high plank. And then roll it back to down dog. Drop your knees down to the floor a little bit wide. Sit back, child's pose. Pick up to all fours, shift forward to plank on the knees, and lower down to the floor. Shoulders back, heart forward, little cobra. Come on down. Reach both hands back, bend both knees, grab your ankles or feet. And if this is just not happening, you can use a scarf or a towel to throw it around, like lasso around your ankles. It's not easy, I'm not going to lie, but it's an option. Maybe a family member can help. Lift your head, lift your heart. Draw your shoulder blades in. Hug your elbows together. And then press your ankles with your hands so strongly. And lift up. Let that pressing lift your heart and chest and shoulders. Squeeze your knees in. And on an inhale, lift a little bit more. Release back down. You can, if you are done and that is it for you for back bends, release your feet and shake your hips out. If you would like to try that again, lift on back up. You're welcome to stay laying on the floor. If you want to try again, lift your shoulders back, hug your shoulder blades in, lift your head, squeeze in with those shoulder blades. Press the feet into the hands firmly, let it lift you up, pick it up. Breathe as long and slow as deep as you can, but it's going to be a little different here. Notice. And come on down. Good work with big back bends. Wiggle your hips. Feel your heart beating in your chest. If you want one more, you are welcome to take a moment now and do so. If you need to just lay here and catch your breath, that is also a great option. Bring your hands back in by your ribs. Pick yourself up to all fours. Walk your knees in under your hips and acclimate neutral spine. Press the floor away, gentle cat. Move very slowly into this small cat. And then back into child's pose. Bring the knees a little wide, sit back. All right, come on back.
back up to all fours. We're going to move into pigeon pose. I know that some people love, love, love a down dog and a leg lift to slide into pigeon. That is great. That is lovely. Do that if that makes you happy. If you're on all fours and you're feeling tired, just slide your right knee forward towards your wrist. Left ankle comes across a little bit. Slide the back leg back. Get yourself set up for your pigeon. Normally I'm really strict about getting another back bend here in pigeon, but we have done enough. If it makes you happy to kind of sit up in pigeon and do that little back bend, that's fine. Any other pigeon is welcome if you want to reach back, grab your foot, etc. That's in your practice. You know what to do, go ahead. Otherwise, if you just feel like coming on down to your elbows, come on down to your elbows. Breathe and notice what you feel and where you feel it. Can you cultivate a loving feeling towards those sensations? Hello, body. Hmm. Wow, what are you feeling today? Fascinating. Thank you. Keeping the mind grounded in the body. Not even thinking too hard, just letting those two flow together. And as if you were holding a delicate baby, treat yourself with that gentleness, carefully pulling yourself up and out. Come back to all fours or down dog, your choice. And as you're ready, from down dog or hands and knees, bring that left knee forward towards your wrist. Ankle chin across perhaps, back leg ratcheting back perhaps. If you like to sit up tall, sit up tall. If you like to come down on your elbows, come on down. Feel that breathing. Breathe here now. Again, as though you are being so loving and careful with yourself, come on up, pull yourself out carefully, compassion for your body's tight areas and challenges. Right. Have a seat, please. Let's move forward. Your legs out in front of you. Inhale, lift long and tall, and fold down. Lift 
down, back up, nice and slow. Cross your left leg over your right. You kind of bring that um, left heel towards your right hip. This might be where some of you stop, okay? This is a good hip stretch. You might stay here. You also might tuck this right leg under, right heel towards left hip. And then left arm reaches up. Bend it back behind you. Right arm out, under and up. Clasp the hands. Use a strap or a scarf. Breathe in this Gomukhasana. Cow face pose. Long, slow, and deep. How are you feeling? Notice. Release the arms, bring them to your feet. Inhale, tall. Exhale, fold. Lift back up slowly. And we're going to switch legs. So extend your legs forward. Cross right leg over left. Bringing that right heel towards your left hip. Maybe this is good for you. You might stay right here. You also might tuck that left leg under and bring it towards the right hip. Knees as close to stacking as you can. Lift your right arm up. Bend it back. Left arm out. Under and up. Clasp fingers or not. Grab your shirt, strap, scarf. Sit up tall though, try to get your head lifted off your neck. Don't let your head be dipped forward too far. Release your arms, bring your hands to the soles of your feet. Inhale, tall. Exhale, fold. Lift back up, carefully unwind the legs. And begin to lay back. Setting up nice and tall first, and then rolling down nice and slow. Hug your knees in, rock left and right. And then arms out to the left and the right, knees over hips, shins parallel to the floor. Inhale. Exhale, drop your knees to the right. Turn your head left or bob it left and right. Or keep it at the ceiling. Carry it lovingly for your neck. Back up to center and drop your knees to the left. Turn your head right if it feels good. Take note of what does feel good. So 
celebrate those good feelings. That's what we're here for. Hopefully we've achieved some of that for you. It's easy to pick up what's wrong and criticize and criticize ourselves. So for today, pick up on what's right. And amongst all the chaos, smile about the good things that you have, the good feelings in your body. Sometimes it helps to recall a really good, happy time. Either a time in your life or a moment. Call up that happy feeling. Call up that safe feeling. Bring your knees back to center. Give yourself a hug and really, really hug yourself. Rock left and right. Last pose, the second to last pose, happy baby, bring your knees out towards your armpits, hands grab the outside edges of the feet, Left and right, if that serves you well. And then release from there. Drop your feet down to the mat. And walk your legs out straight. Let your feet flop open. Let your arms come down by your sides. Let yourself melt into the mat. Give yourself this precious time of doing nothing but allowing yourself to rest and integrate your practice gently. you have more time at home to lay on the floor, please indulge yourself lovingly and take an extended shavasana. If you would like to wrap it up with me, you can do wiggle your fingers and toes, rolling wrists and ankles, reaching arms long overhead, get a big stretch. And then relax fully. Bend your knees, roll to your right sides. And using your left hand on the floor, slowly press back up to a seat. 
Keeping your eyes closed if you can. When you are seated, notice your breathing. How does it feel now? Appreciate the simplicity of in-breath and out-breath. Now is a wonderful time to meditate. So take this time if you'd like to continue sitting, and breathing, and just being with the company of your own self and with your own thoughts, returning to the breath as you notice that you've wandered. Thank you so much for joining us today. Again, thanks to Yama Yoga for helping us set this all up. Thank you for joining me. Namaste. I hope to be back next week. That is my plan, right here on this same station. Again, on the Yama page, um, there's a link to Yama's new YouTube channel, which has uh, videos from several teachers. Uh, this one will be up hopefully in a few days. And um, you know, we're keeping Julia very busy editing videos, so thank her if you see her. And um, thanks to Sam as well. Join my newsletter through my website if you get a chance, so you can get the direct links emailed to you on, on Saturdays. And stay well out there. Be careful. Be safe. I miss you. Wish I could see your faces. A couple of you left your cameras on. I kind of loved that. I could see you. It was really nice. <laughs> Can't wait till we're together again. Have a great week. Bye-bye.